Hello guys, Norfolk Tool Guy here again. This is just a follow-up to my quick video I did the other day for the first time using vinegar to um, de-rust tools, basically. Um, normally I use HG rust remover, and uh, this stuff is fantastic. You just uh, mix this 500ml bottle with two litres of water, um, and it's, you basically you got yourself uh, a vapor rust. Um, it does a fantastic job, but I thought, you know, it's quite expensive. I think it is, it's about seven seven pound a bottle um it does last a long time i've got a bucket down there still full with my sort of um a load i've had for absolutely donkeys now um but yeah i thought i'd just you know i was in sainsbury's the other day six quid for a, uh, six quid 60p for a bottle of this i thought you know what it's worth just giving it a go uh, i did add a few extra tools uh yesterday when i was in here um but yeah we'll just uh see how they came out Well, basically scissors these scissors open up now they're already looking much better than what they um how they did when they first went in and the rust is just coming off them nice and easy which is what i like to see absolutely freezing here today so uh dipping my hands in cold vinegar is uh is great fun all right let's uh, dry them off and uh, see how they came out and i didn't I, i'm really bad for this i didn't take any before um footage of the scissors or a few of the extra bits i added in there just as part of this experiment but um to be fair these have come out brilliantly these were bright orange but when they went in there yesterday and uh yeah there's a little bit in uh a rust still in sort of places like that um but with a bit of work i think these will come out fantastic so these were um if you can make that out i don't know if i can make it out to be fair camera's not um on my side today these are sheffield and these are booker and sons ltd and they're a fantastic uh, little pair of scissors so i'm gonna probably take these thing uh all of these uh, items and run them through the wire wheel after this um and just see what the results are and we have this little um steel handle gimlet which i wanted to definitely wanted to go through here just to just so that you could um experience what it would look like clean and i just thought it would be an ideal thing for the uh for this experiment I know a lot of people use um, vinegar a lot of people have messaged me or commented yesterday sort of saying you know vinegar is good and uh, they've been using it for years so so this one probably would need a bit longer but it's already like compared to what it was yesterday when it went in um, it's already a massive improvement you really can start to see the uh, the metal come through the rust Right, we had these, if you remember these from a uh, previous tool haul, these were those uh, crimpers or blasting cap pliers. Um, a few people said different things about what they uh, could possibly be, but I thought I'd stick them in here, see if I can get a maker's name or anything from them, because uh, they were quite rusted. And they've already come up sort of so much better than what they were, especially from... Uh, how they were in the in the tool hall video let's try these off so have a quick scrub i'll let the uh, wire wheels do the main bulk of it but now they open up quite nicely you can sort of see their uh, interesting crimping design in there but yet yeah, there's still still no makers marks or names or of any kind but uh yeah still quite a cool little pair of pliers really so happy with that with the results of those right we have this little t-handle screwdriver up next 
This was in uh, a previous tool haul as well. I thought it'd be another prime example to throw through here and see what the vinegar can do. This one is another one that looks like it might have needed a bit longer. To really sort of eat into the rust, but I think this one's going to be quite heavily pitted when it is done. dry that one off there's yeah, so this little t-handle flathead screwdriver no names at all but uh yeah I thought that was a cool little piece not seen one like that before and the other one was this very gothic spanner that i really wasn't sure what the actual use of this thing would be well, apart from obviously being a spanner, but I just thought that there must be a reason for its sort of interesting design. Or well, maybe it's just uh, someone wanted to, uh, I don't know, make some gothic design sword looking spanners of the time. I don't think it's particularly old, but um, I thought it was a cool find. So yeah, that's uh, definitely eating into most of the rust off that. It's very pitted, but uh, I'm sure that's something that could be sanded out. Uh, you can make out the number now, number number two. No names, but just the marking two. And I think the other bits in here were just some parts of a hacksaw that I was cleaning up. Little wing nut. These have not been in there the longest to be fair, so they may take a little bit more work. Probably have to put these back in. But uh, although you can see the vinegar is starting to work, it is starting to take the main bolt of the uh, rust off. And this was just the blades, the blade holder, or the saw blade, yeah, the saw blade holder for the um, hacksaw. So it was just, uh, the Enox hacksaw that I was cleaning up. that's come up beautifully like that's so much better than what it was when it first went in and yeah, i'm really happy with that yeah so right i'll uh i'll pause you guys here i'll give these a quick once over on the uh on the wire wheel and then see what we come back with and there we go guys they've all just been hit on the wire wheel some might need further sanding to get the pitting out so like this spanner it's still quite badly pitted um so i reckon that would need a bit of sanding to you know bring the bring the shine back into it but it's definitely something that can be worked with so yeah so far it's looking quite good for um, vinegar as a cheaper alternative um, the blasting cap uh, pliers I mean they've just been through the vinegar um, and then on both sides of my uh, wire wheel uh, I've got sort of a coarse side and a um, quite fine side just to do the finishing up but I think They've come out quite well. Still no names or anything, but uh, yeah, thought that's done a good job on those. The scissors, the scissors have come out fantastic. Definitely, uh, these are definitely something that I was thinking I'll probably paint the handles again um, and then sharpen them and give them a nice uh, shine. But I think overall, They've come out great. There's a few little niggly bits of rust that I need to still deal with. But um, for the most part, they've come out brilliant. So really happy with those. This little T-handle screwdriver is probably one of the uh, biggest improvements I've seen. Like it's it's gone from just a rusty piece of junk to uh, a nice shiny piece of metal. I'll give them all a bit of a, a coat um, of uh, paste wax just to protect them. Stop any further rust building up. And then the uh, the gimlet, the steel gimlet, has come out quite nice. I did start to find markings on it though. Um, so we've got, it says, if you can make it out, it says power along the bottom here. And then it says, Ridge, Ridgeway Sheffield at the top here. Don't know if you guys are going to be making out the, uh, I don't know why the camera's not focusing. 
today. But um, yeah, overall I think uh, that's a massive improvement to how I found it in that tall hall. So uh, yeah, that's a, a thumbs up for uh, from me for uh, vinegar. Uh, I'll probably still use this stuff as well just because I think it's fantastic. Um, it's just, it's a lot pricier um, when you're buying and using lots of it. So yeah, um, leave a comment on what you think guys, if you're sort of, you know, just as surprised as, as I am with the results. Um, yeah, so thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.